Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison video between these two OXO conical burr grinders. So on the left, it's got an integrated scale in it, and on the right, it's just a conical coffee grinder. So the one on the left, the conical burr grinder with integrated scale, does cost $300. Now this one that's just a conical burr grinder only costs $100. And this is one of my favorite grinders, but there are some extra features on this that I actually like. Okay, so both of these have some things in common, but the one with the integrated scale's got a scale down here that's gonna display, you can um, grind at a precision uh, right amount of grams or cups. Here's the container it's gonna grind into. This is like a stainless steel grind, uh, container that it grinds into. Really helps with static electricity. This one does a good job. Now you adjust them the same. You're gonna, for fine, you're gonna rotate this whole bean hopper over here to the fine setting. For drip, coffee maker, a medium grind is right in the middle, and for coarse is over there. Same with over here. You're gonna rotate this whole bean hopper. You got coarse, medium, and fine. So they're very easy to adjust, very easy to see what you're grinding. Now this conical burr grinder, this is how many seconds when you it's gonna start and stop automatically depending on where you have this selected for how many seconds. Okay, so let's run this one for 10 seconds. Okay, does a really good job. That was a medium grind. Let's take a look. And what I usually normally do is just pour it out. That's got a very nice container for pouring. Over here, it's got a display. So with this one, I got three modes of operation. It's got a button here. I'm gonna press and hold this button. I got cups, I got grams, or manual, or like espresso. So let's do, there's the espresso button. Let's do cups, then you select it. Now I can select between zero and 12 cups and it will start or it'll stop automatically if I press the button. And if your display, sometimes you do have to zero this. So my display is not saying a zero. So I got to press and hold this. My container is empty. I've got everything installed. There's a countdown timer. It's very easy to zero. Now it is zero. Now I can come up here. I've got it on cups, whatever amount of cups I want. Let's say I want to do brew six cups. I have a strength selector now. So this is eight ounces per cup you're going to brew. If I want nine ounces or 10 ounces, I'm going to move that little selector and I can go seven or six. I'm going to do eight. That only works on cups. Now, if I want to do grams, press and hold the button, rotate the dial till the G, press it again. Now I can do grams. Let's do, we can do manual, press and hold the button. That's the like a porta filter. Press the button. Now I've selected that mode. Now it's going to start and stop manually. I have to start it and stop it with the button. So let's go back to cups. There's cups. Let's do eight cups and press start. It's going to count up. Let's just compare over here. So they both sound about the same. I think they're neither one's louder than the other. Okay, so let's check medium grind for each one. Again, that's got a really nice container. This one has a nice container also. Just pour it out the top. Okay, so I have both of them set on eight. We come down here, there, there's a little bit different. So this one, there, the eight on this one is a little bit finer, maybe a little bit more consistent. This one does seem a little bit choppier. Let's move this over to six and give that a try. Okay, so let's dump this out. Yeah, that seems to be a little more that's pretty consistent with what this one is. But you know, the other, the one, this one does seem a little choppy in it still. This one seems very consistent. Okay, so I turned it down to about four and a half. Let's check it again. Okay, so yeah, we're starting to get, that seems pretty close to what the medium grind on that other one was. Yeah. Okay, so now let's check really fine. I got it turned all the way over to really fine. Let's just do three cups. 
Okay, so this is really fine and really fine. Okay, so this one does seem a little bit finer. You know, they're both really fine, but yeah. Boy, this one just seems a little bit more consistent. And again, that was on like two on each of them. So let's go all the way over. Let's go all the way over here. Let's do course. Okay, so this is going to be course. Now let's do a little bit more. Okay, so I had a little bit more course. Let's do the course here. Okay, so course looks almost identical. Maybe just a few bigger chops over here with the one with the scale. But yeah, they look really, really close. So the one with the integrated scale will hold a little bit more in the coffee bean hopper. 16 ounces of coffee compared to 12 ounces. It is a little bit taller. And let's take the bean hopper off of each one. So back here we got this button we're going to press unlock. There's a trap door that comes to prevent the coffee beans from coming out. And then there's what that looks like. So over here we got this big lever inside the coffee beans. We're going to turn it to the unlock position. And it's going to have that same thing that um, keeps the beans from coming out. Okay, so let's take a look at each conical burr grinder. So let's see if we see anything different. Boy, they look very, very similar. You're going to take them both out the same. Let's rotate that. So here's the difference. These almost look identical. And then again down in here. Yeah, I don't see much difference. Okay, so I was not expecting that. I... Uh, with those two conical burr grinders, they look identical on the inside. I'm not sure how they can be so different with the grind. You know, the medium grind was just night and day. Um, this has more chunks in it. This, this is so consistent, and that's this $99 one. Um, I was really expecting this one, but that's a really high price tag, $300. I was expecting it to be very, very nice, and I was really expecting it to be almost identical to this one because it looks like they share a lot of the same parts. This one definitely holds, uh, doesn't have as much static electricity. Anytime, you, so this one definitely has a little bit of static electricity. I did like the scale, the scale was accurate. That's a very useful feature. You know, this one's in seconds. So you gotta kind of, they want you to weigh it. So when you're, you know, for you to figure out what 12 cups for you is, you've gotta weigh it. And then you'll figure out what setting you should have it on. I think when I used this one, mine was around 20. Yeah, this was a surprise. I just I actually thought they were going to be very, very similar, but they're actually pretty different. So again, I hope this comparison video helps. Um, if there's another one you want this, either one of these compared to, again, this is probably this is probably my this is my favorite one that doesn't have settings. I do have a, a KitchenAid that I really like, but it's for dialing in espresso machines because it's got such a fine uh, reading and a digital display that just and it does a good job grinding too. But for just basic coffee maker, this is an excellent $99 coffee grinder that I highly, highly recommend. I was really wanting to, this one to be just as, just as good, but you know, it does a good job, but I thought this one does a better job grinding. So leave in the comments down below if there's another one you want to see it compared to, um, or if you want the different, if I should do the comparison different, let me know. I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the subscribe button down there and there's a thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching.